Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Austin from Boss, and right now we're gonna be going over how to install Tone Studio for your Katana Mark II for Mac OS X. All right, let's do it. All right, so Boss Tone Studio, what it is, is it's a computer program that allows you to control all the guts that are inside of the Katana. That's really cool. <laughs> anyway, to show you how to install it, let's go over and switch to the screen. So first what we want to do is we want to open up the web browser. We want to go to boss.info. All right, and we want to go to the search bar. We want to type in our Katana model. I am doing this on a Katana 100. All right, and we scroll down to the model that we have. Great, we scroll then down to the downloads tab. And then we want to click on the uh, Tone Studio version for Mac, since we are installing this on a Mac. All right. Uh, this kind of gives you a list of uh, all the details, how to uh, access it. Uh, we click I agree and uh, download the file. Do, 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 do. All right. So now that it's downloaded into our folder, we go ahead and open up BTS Katana 2 and open up Boss Tone Studio. We want to open up this PKG file. Ah, but this error message can maybe pop up when you're going through this install process. So this basically says that the security preferences in your computer are denying Boss Tone Studio to be downloaded and accessed. So we click OK. It's all right. We're going to get through this. We'll re-click the system preferences. And we want to go to security and privacy. And then we want to go into uh, allowed apps downloaded from. Usually we have to unlock our uh, settings here. We want to click App Store and Identified Developers. It says open anyway, so we want to open that anyway, and then proceed with the download. All right, so we click continue. You just follow the system prompts, and then you're pretty much all good to go. Boss Tone Studio will be awesome. So now you have Boss Tone Studio in there, where to find it inside of your computer after it's done. Uh, sometimes it doesn't automatically pop up on your desktop as an icon, so you go into Applications. Uh, mine is a separate folder called Boss. I want to go to Katana MK2, and then there's our Tone Studio. We can just simply click, drag, and then bam, we can open it up freely. So uh, you want to make sure you have your USB plugged in for this process. So when opening up Boss Tone Studio, sometimes you could run into this error message, uh, device not found. Double check and make sure that your connections are okay. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in the USB on this. I want to close Boss Tone Studio and reopen it. And then Tone Studio should pop up. That's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, my name is Austin from Boss. Click subscribe if you want to find out more information about our products. Comment if you have any questions. All right. Thanks a lot. See ya.